Hello everyone, you are all welcome to this training. This is the Empower Africa program and we are so glad that you have made the decision to sign up for this training. If you had not made that decision, this training wouldn't have held. And so we are happy that you took that bold step to sign up to register for this training. Close to 200 people registered for this training and we see it as a success already. So you are all welcome. Let me just know in the comment section where you are joining us from. You are joining us from Nigeria, from Ghana, South Africa, Kenya, Togo, anywhere that you are joining us from. Let me know in the comment section. All right, so the Empower Africa program is aimed at equipping over 15,000 African youth with digital skills. So uh, the program is sponsored by Cepros Technologies, Gluper Technologies, and CBC. So um, we are starting this program with website design training. And this is going to take two weeks. And every day by 8 p.m. West African time, we are going to assemble here and then learn about website design. So the aim of this program is to, to equip you with these skills so that you, when you go out there and make use of them to end. All right, so, <clears throat> sorry, I have little kata, uh, so my voice is not very clear, but I hope you can just, you can just manage this, hear me, and let's move on. Okay, so within this period of two weeks, you may be having some questions. You can drop them in the comment section, or you can drop them on the WhatsApp group. So if you're not on the WhatsApp group, uh, don't worry. At the end of this uh, introductory session, I'm going to drop a link uh, so that you can click on it and join us on the WhatsApp group. So within these two weeks, you are going to, we are going to be giving you guidance on that group. Any question you have yeah, about website design, you are confused about anything, you are receiving error message, you are finding it difficult to do anything, you can simply drop that question on the WhatsApp group and we will respond to you uh, accordingly. Right, so, like I said, we'll be starting with website design. And I am the one who is going to handle this course. I'm the one who is going to train you on website design. And my name is Best in Keto. Uh, that's the name I use on Facebook and Instagram. So, I wear many hats. I'm a digital marketing expert, I'm a website designer, content creator, and social media manager. So, but in this uh, program, I'm going to take only website design, I'm taking only website design. So, thank you for having me in here. So, the course objectives. We have only two objectives for organizing this website design training. And the first is to for you to learn and master website design. So at the end of this training, you should be able to design a website. And then the second thing is for you to monetize website design skills. So you should be able to, at the end of this training, be able to know the various ways, different methods that you can use in monetizing your skill as a website designer. Okay? So what are the requirements? Number one is your attention. You want to get your attention. So you need to create time and pay attention to the course. Remember on the group I told you that this training is free, but it is uh, only for the serious people. So you need to be serious about it. If you take it very serious, you are going to make the most out of it. And it will open you up to a lot of opportunities online. So we need your attention, we need your time. Uh, so, uh, of course, every day, within these two weeks, every day, if you are creating about two hours, at least two hours, you'll be okay. You'll be able to learn and know everything we'll be teaching you here. So the second requirement is a computer system. You will have to have, you know, get a computer system. It can be a laptop or a desktop you can use. Some people, are, some people are asking me if they can use their phones for this training. Well, 
I will not advise that you use phone, though you can use a phone, but that will not give you a very good result. And it's going to, it's going to stress you a lot. So it's better not to use a phone. Get a laptop, get a desktop, and you are good to go. Then you are going to have, need internet access. So you will need to have internet access because it's an online course. So, and then be readiness to take action. Be ready to take action. You have to be open and be ready because we are going to be giving you assignments. So be ready to, to learn and implement. It's very important. So these are the requirements for this training. So the course outline. We are going to be considering about six uh, or seven sections in this training. And number one is the introduction. So the introduction is going to take the overview of the website or of website design, what a website is, website design tools and uh, stuff like that. Then we are going to be talking about why learn website design. Then we'll be talking about defining the purpose of your website. So these are the things you consider before designing, starting to design a website. You define the purpose. You know the purpose of that website first. By designing for a client, you ask them to know the purpose of the website. That guides you in, in designing the website so that it will fit in to what exactly what they want. Okay. So we are going to be talking about analyzing the required features, features for the website all the features that are needed. And then website is website, site map, and layout. So the second section, we are going to be talking about content management systems. The first of it is Wix, you know Wix.com. You can use Wix to design website. You can use Shopify, Webflow, and WordPress. This course basically is going to be based on WordPress. A lot of what we'll be learning here will be about web WordPress because that is the free platform. And most of the websites on the internet now, about 43% or thereabout, are um, powered by WordPress. So we are going to be using WordPress in detail to teach you how to design website and monetize it. So the third section is the offline WordPress. So you can design websites with WordPress offline. Okay. Without the internet, you can design it on your system. You finish, and then you now migrate it to the internet so that the world can access it. Anywhere your users are, your visitors are, they can access the, the website and view your content. Okay. So uh, under this, we are going to be looking at installation of the required tools, WordPress installation, creating database with MySQL, WordPress dash dashboard, WordPress uh, settings. <coughs> so number four, creating content in WordPress. So this is very easy to do. Actually, it's very easy. WordPress, uh, WordPress is very easy to use. So we're talking about the content categories, creating content in categories, blog posts, media, web pages, and tags, tags and comments. So number five, we'll be talking about WordPress plugins and themes. So there are these are software that you use to enhance we increase the functionality of your website. So there are a lot of them. We're talking about them, we're talking about user management, we're talking about WordPress teams and Elementor Page Builder. This is the, the plugin that gives you the environment to drag and drop, design your website without stress in hours. Uh, in minutes, sometimes in minutes, and you are done. So we, number six, we are going to consider web hosting and security web hosting and security so it is very important for you to know how to host your website on the internet if you design a website and it's not hosted then it means uh, you've not done anything so you need to design and host it on the internet so that 
your users can access it anywhere in the world. Okay, so we'll be showing you how to do this, how to create a custom email that's a business email for your business, for your clients. Mm -hmm. Then how to back up website and restore it. Very important. It's a security measure actually. And then how to secure your website. You have the default and the advanced uh, security. All right. So you have more things here. Um, you have the search engine optimization. You have how to monetize web design skill. This is very, very important. How to monetize the skill itself. And then, uh, of course, there's something else there. How to monetize websites. You know, this is different from monetizing your skill. Monetizing websites, actually for business people, if you have a business, how do you monetize your website, you know? And then even for web designers, you can design your own website, how do you monetize it? So it's different from monetizing the web design skill. We're going to give you measures, give you uh, proven, proven ways that you can use to monetize your skill and your website. So how to learn your first web design job? And then at the end of this training, you are going to uh, do a project. I want to design a full website, the one we will tell you to do. So if you are able to design this and send a link to us, uh, the WhatsApp group, we'll assess it, and then we'll see if you have done it correctly, the way we want it, the, the way we specify. We are going to give you a certificate at the end of this training. But it's only for those who complete this project, okay? We we'll give them uh, a certificate uh, to show that they are they have completed web design training, okay? We are a training institute, like I said, on the WhatsApp group. So we have been training other people and we've been issuing them certificates. Huh? So if you're able to complete this project, you also get yourself a certificate from this program. All right. So now we are going into the main training now. So the overview of website design, okay? So what is what exactly is a website? A website is a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a common domain name and published on at least one web server. So a lot of pages, but one domain name and is hosted on a server. Okay, so I like to explain this uh, using this scenario. I see websites as a piece of land on the internet. Okay, so when you want to build a house, the first thing you do is to secure a land, secure a piece of land, and then once you get the piece of land, you have an address. So sometimes uh, it carries a street name and a house number, okay? That's your address. So if someone wants to visit your house now, you are going to give them your house address, okay? So they, they follow that address and then they come to your house. So that is the same thing that happens on the internet. A website, and then when you go to that, when you go inside that house, you're going to see different rooms in that house, okay? You're going to see different rooms. You're going to see the parlor, you're going to see the bedroom, you're going to see uh, the kitchen, you're going to see the store, you're going to see the garage, you're going to see a lot of uh, things, a lot of rooms in the uh, house. So look at it this way. On the internet, you also have a website, and that website is like your house. So before you build a website on the internet, you need to get a place where that website will stay. You need to get a space on the internet where the website will stay. Okay, so that is the server. That is the server we are talking about. So you see this server, web server, that is where your website is going to stay. So now there are companies that have spaces to sell. They have servers. 
So inside the server, they will give you, once you pay money to them, they give you a, a part of that uh, server and then you upload your website to that place. So that is the web server. Coming to this, the domain name. The domain name is the address, okay? So you have something like this, bestinketo.com. This is the domain name, the domain name that will lead you to this very website. So on this domain name now, you see that bestinketo.com is the domain name. So this .com is the domain extension, okay? So if you are designing a website for a school, tertiary institution, you can use .edu, that is .edu, you understand? If you are designing a website for an organization, you can use .org. If you are designing a website for the government, you can use .gov and all of that. So when you go visit a hosting company, you will see all of those uh, domain name extensions there. And then you select the one you want to select. So let's go back. <clears throat> so now the domain name here is leading you to the website, which is on the server. Okay. And then when you come to the website, you now see a lot of pages, web pages. Remember I was telling you about the, the rooms in your house. So this is the web pages here, uh, like the rooms in your house. So you can visit a website, you can click on this page, it opens, click on another one, it opens, click on another one, it opens, but it's still within the same website, okay? So it is a collection of those pages, but it's uh, identified uh, by a common domain name and it's hosted on the server, okay? So how does the internet work? So you see this image down here. This is all that happens on the internet. This is the, the web browser. So if you pick your phone now and you open your browser on the phone, this is the user, and then you type in a domain name on your browser, browser like Chrome, like uh, uh, Firefox, like Opera Mini, like any other browser, okay? If you type a domain name there, what happens on the internet is that you are sending a, a, a request to the server. Look at the web server here. Remember, I was telling you about server. This is where your the website is is hosted. So when you send a request from your system here, the internet facilitates that connects your laptop with this server. On the other hand, on the other end. So this server now sends a response. Huh? back to your browser and then you now see the website appearing on your system okay and anytime you click on a page on your website this whole thing happens before you see the new page opening on your system okay so this happens uh, very fast depending on how the how strong the internet, the network is at, at a particular time. So then you see that it's very simple. You click on anything, it fetches from the server, displays to you, okay? Let's move ahead. Like I said earlier, if you have any question, please just drop it in the comment section down below. All right, so why learn website design? And then all these things, don't worry about them. We are going to be doing them in detail in our subsequent classes, okay? So why learn website design? Number one, there are a lot of career opportunities, okay? You can get career opportunities in when you have this skill. You can be employed in a company, in an, in an organization, as a website designer. You design their website, you maintain it. Uh, you, you update and all of that. Currently, I work uh, as a web designer in a company as well, huh? and I'm paid uh, salary. So you see that. 
So the second thing is you can become a freelancer. There are a lot of freelancing opportunities as well. You can sign up on freelancing platforms, on freelancing platforms like Upwork, like Fiverr, like freelancer.com, and a whole of other ones. So you work by gig. Once you get a, 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 a someone that wants you to design for them, you design, charge, they pay you for the contract you design and you, you deliver. Okay. You can do that with uh, not necessarily on the, the, the freelancing platforms. You can optimize your social media handles as a website designer. People can contact you. You get uh, web design jobs you do for them and you get paid. Okay. So the third thing is this training, this website design training can help you to design personal projects. So you can design your personal website, you can design your own website, a blog, you can have a blog, choose a niche where you where you are very knowledgeable about, and then you start sharing the, the knowledge on those blogs, and later on you monetize it. You can design your own portfolio website, you understand, where people can just click and know about you, how to contact you, what, what you have done in the past, and all of that, the experience you have, and all of that. You can design projects for family members, friends, and all of that, okay? So this training will also help entrepreneurs. So you are an entrepreneur, you are a business owner, and you don't want to outsource web design, okay? If you learn this, you are going to design your, your own business website yourself. You know what you are selling, can create a website for it, want to sell products online, can create a website, an e-commerce website, can create a one-page one website, can create a professional website, okay? And you, you make use of it to retain your customers, convert your customers, your leads to customers, send newsletters and all of that. Integrate your social media handles to your website for easy access and all of that. You can do it by yourself if you know how to do this okay then it helps you to better understand uh, how the website the web how the web works remember i started explaining how the internet works okay when you click on your page the internet helps and it fetches that file from the server and then displays on your system website design helps you to understand the the, the web more in detail hmm? understand the web in detail okay it's very important that you learn how to design websites so let's move ahead so now what are the tools that are used for website design first you need to know that the website consists of the front end and the back end you understand so if you open a website like this You see that what you are seeing here is the front end. So everything that the user interacts with is the front end. Okay. So, but all these things you are seeing here are not just here. They are not just appearing here. There is something in the background. There are codes in the background that are, that are generating this content in the front here. So if you see this color showing blue, it is a particular code in the background that is displaying this. You see this text, if you see the background, if you see the button, if you see everything, you see this section here, everything, you see the image. So you have the front end, which is the user uh, side, and then you have the back end, which is the server side. Okay. So the people who design the front end are called front end developers, and then the back end you have the back end developers. Okay, so in this modern world, there are basically two methods of building a website. There are two methods of building building a website. Okay, so the first one is programming, which is uh, coding. So these are the people who use uh, programming languages to write codes and then you now see the results in the 
the front end of your website. So under this programming, there are some people who uh, are UI designers. Remember, user interface designers. So they are going to they design the prototypes of the websites, and then now hand over those uh, demo prototypes to the developers. So the developer is the one who is going to code the website. So what the UI designer does is they know they design the the, the front view of the website, but it's not active. It's just a prototype telling the developer that here you are going to put this kind of color, you are going to put this kind of animation, you are going to put this kind of uh, feature here, maybe a button, you are going to put an image here, this is what is going to be on the menu, and all of those things, okay? So that is what the, the UI designer does. So the web developer now is going to use the programming languages and write code to design the actual website. So the developer, the front-end web developer is using what the UI, uh, UI designer did, is following it to write the codes that will display exactly what uh, he has been given. Okay, so he uses technologies like HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, uh, JavaScript, and some other uh, uh, languages. Okay, <clears throat> so, but we are not going to worry ourselves much about this because what we are doing is we are using the simplest and the fastest way of designing website. We are not going to be coding. Okay, we are not going to be writing any code. We are going to be using number two, which is content management system. So content management system are software that help in organizing your content, creating uh, creating content in a fast way, and then it gives you the platform or the environment for you to uh, drag and drop features, elements, blocks, and build your website in minutes. So while you are dragging those things, while you are dragging the, com the everything on the website and you are dropping, it is generating code in the in the back end, okay? So the content management system is helping you to generate the code in the back end. So by doing that, you are doing two things there. You are doing the design, you are writing code in the back end. Hmm? But everything is handled by the content management system. It now gives you an environment where you can do it easily, okay? So, you are not going to bother yourself about coding. Of course, um, this is not to say that coding is bad. I I actually started uh, website design with, with, with coding. I learned HTML, I learned uh, CSS, I learned Bootstrap, I learned JavaScript. Started learning Node.js. So I uh, the first few websites that I did, it was through coding. But I discovered that it was taking too much of my time much time to, to think and code and then uh, time to debug errors errors and all of that so it took it was taking too much of my time and so i decided to when i discovered content management system i now went for it and i've been using content management system for some years now okay so content management system is very good and it's going to give you it's going to give you the results you want uh, faster. Okay. So let's move on. So, so before you start designing a website, there are some things that you need to consider in the planning stage. The planning stage is very, very important. You need to know what exactly you want before you start the actual design. Okay. So what we are doing today, basically, is an introduction. That is why we are not doing the practicals today. It's an introduction that we are, I'm, I'm giving you so that you will know what the, the days ahead hold. Okay? This introduction is very, very important. So now, before you design a website, you need to first define the purpose of your website. 
So there are different kinds of websites. So first, know what the, the, uh, the client wants. Or if it's your own website, decide what you want to use that website for first. Is it just a portfolio website? Is it a blog? Is it for, for blogging? Are you creating it for uh, products? Are you going to be selling products there? You want people to click and make payments there or you want them to move to your inbox, maybe on WhatsApp, or you just want your website to collect leads, you want to generate email leads, is that, is that the purpose of your website? Or is it a community? Is it a membership website? Is it uh, a news website? So when you know the purpose, it's going to guide you on the kind of features you are going to use. It's going to guide you on the kind of hosting you are going to use. It's going to guide you on the kind of, uh, even the domain that you are, going to you are going to use. Okay? So the second thing is analyzing the required features. Uh, now that you have known the purpose of your website, next thing is to analyze the features required. Since there are basic features every website must have, there are some features that are based on the purpose of the website. So features like domain name, logo, navigation bar, call to action, testimonials, social media links. These are common features that you ought to have on your website because they are, they are very, very important. So when it comes to features like Google Maps, features like shopping carts, features like payment gateway, payment gateways, features like opt-in forms, features like login, logout forms, and all of that, all of these ones. It is dependent on the purpose of the website because if someone is not creating uh, content that will, not, will need to uh, need users to be registered on the website, there's no need creating a login uh, form. A login page it's not necessary they will not be using it okay they're not making payments on the website it's not, there's no need creating integrating payment gateways on the website do not make any sense so you now know the features that you are going to use on the website so the third thing is um, the website sitemap and layout okay now that you have known the features that you are going to use the required features you are going to use you need to know the website site map and layout so a site map is a visual structural representation of how the actual website is going to look like this can typically be a sketch you can just make a sketch with pen and paper or more beautiful design using sophisticated software like figma figma.com or glyphi.com in every way a visual sitemap contains all the pages you intend to create on your website okay and then how you will structure the website content how you want your users to navigate the website this is an example of a sitemap so this is just a sketch this is a sketch okay this is not the one that you use a sophisticated uh, software to design like um, ui designers do remember when we were talking about ui designers ui ux designers just have an idea of how you are going to design your how you want your website to look like okay, you want to have home so that when they come to home what should they see should they see a hero section that contain buttons? Uh, click on the button and learn more. I to take them to which page? You understand? So when they get to that page and they click on the link, where should that link take them to? You understand? That's your site map. So you have that idea in mind. Or you put it down on a, on a design a sketch. You use a software like Figma to structure it. So you need the sitemap as well. We are going to be making use of content management system where a lot of templates are already designed. All you need is to select the one you want and edit.
So, but knowing your site map and the layout is very, very important. So the layout, very, very important, okay? So, um, this is an introductory class, like I said earlier. So, this is where we are going to end for today. But tomorrow, we are going into practicals. Tomorrow, we are going into real practicals. We will start WordPress. And I will be showing you how to start your website with WordPress. Okay. Now that we know the introduction, we know the basics, the meaning of website, why we should learn website outline for this training. Okay. So if you, you are watching this video and you are not on our WhatsApp group, please click on this link in the description of this video that will take you to our WhatsApp group. Okay. So thank you very much for availing yourself for this training this night. We'll see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.